I don't know how long this video is going to be, I just started recording, like, the reason I started making this video is to uh, show you guys my settings, but like it turned into me just following people, seeing what they were going to do, I don't know, most people just kill me, hey what's up man, friendly, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, oh you're going to kill me, I already know you're going to kill me, roast him, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, what's your name, like I said, even the deer doesn't like me. <laughs> I'm ugly. <laughs> hey, at least he didn't attack me. Oh, get out of here. He <laughs> spawned and get attacked by a bear. Amazing. So yeah, I'm pretty confident with these settings. Um, being as though there's a lot of crap on these big servers, I probably would turn a few settings down. Might even just drop those all the way down, except for terrain. I don't know, but uh, decor is unnecessary, but again, like let's say um, you drop something, like hey, or hey there's a rock over there by the flowers, you know, but not everybody has their settings turned up, so, I don't know, I have the GTX 960, as you should be able to see in the top left corner, I don't know, this is live commentary, I'm not commentating over it, so I don't know what the footage is going to look like, I'm using Nvidia Shadowplay to record this, so I set the, uh, I set the resolution to end game and the quality, the megabytes per second, set that to 130. So hopefully, it's not a lot of pixelation in here. It's pretty smooth. I hope the Mac, the Mac, the mic doesn't sound like crap. I got it. Don't want to go off topic here, but uh, yeah, let's, let's even look at my settings. Graphics have all the effects turned off. I usually run uh, Vignet, Vignet. I don't know how to pronounce it. And sun shafts, lens dead high quality, all that stuff. Ambient occlusion drops my frame rate with these settings. Depth of field, I think it's broken right now. Color grading, I personally don't like it. Some people don't like these, but I like them. Graphics quality, set to 5. Water quality, 0. You can set it to 1, just drops your frames by like 5. Max shuttle light, something that does anything. Shader level, I drop this in half because, like, during a lot of dense forest or a lot of buildings, my frames would drop. So I cut that in half, my frames boost it up. Draw distance, max that out. Some people set it to 2000. Shadow cascades, turn the shadows off, unnecessary. Of course, if you're playing on a smaller server, less people, crank these settings up. Duh, they look better. NH Topic Filtering, like I said earlier. In this game, it actually affects frame rate, so I turn that off. Parallax Mapping, again, I believe that's, that is with um, how like the textures in the ground, like how they pop. Like, like imagine if you had this set to zero, this rock would be flat. Or it wouldn't have all these um, edges and stuff, but you crank it up, and it's like a full-blown, super detailed rock that makes sense I don't know. that's what I think it is but it doesn't do that so I don't know what it does and performance particle quality object quality tree quality and grass quality I have all those cut in half terrain quality have it set to 20 and decor quality set to 70 with these settings decor doesn't show up until you set it to 70 so I'll try to find some flowers just to show you if I drop it down to like 69 the flowers will disappear so uh, here we go perfect flowers just if you even bumped up to 69, what the fudge? Flowers are still there. 25. 26. 27. Alright, my bad, I was wrong. At 27, the flowers pop up. They wouldn't pop up early when I lowered it. Hmm. So, set your decoy quality to 27. Like, I'm in the forest right now, my frames are pretty good. It's a lot of fog, so stuff isn't really rendering in the distance. Fog's covering it up. So it's probably helping my frames a bit. But as you get deeper in the forest and rendering more things, your frames will drop. So again, if you if you prefer to stay above 60 the entire time, drop your settings. I'm pretty comfortable with this. I don't really have a gun at the moment, so I don't really care about my frame rate. Well, these are pretty decent settings. And again, if you want just balls to the wall frame rate, just turn all that down. Looks like crap. I, I can't play like this. I have to have my terrain turned up. So terrain 20, everything else turned. I don't like texture popping. That's another reason I had everything set to like halfway. There's the render lag. So I guess you could do these settings too. Like look at the mushroom. See how it looks? Like kinda angular and stuff. That's the object quality. If you set that to 100, boom. Looks like a round of mushroom now. So again, it's just the little things most people don't pay attention to when they're playing. I usually do and it gives me a headache when stuff doesn't look quite right. So. Yeah, just play around with it. I have a GTX 960, like I said. These are my settings I run with for now. And I like them, for the most part. 
Again, if you're under like on your phone a big server and heavy gunfight, lower your settings, please. You don't want to be at a disadvantage. And another thing, upgrade your hardware if you can. If you can't, save up money and do it that way. But if you're on an empty server, um, max out the frames. I mean, max out the graphics to as much as your system can handle it. If you're in a big server, drop them all the way down. But if you're in an empty server and you're struggling to achieve 60 FPS, then you need to upgrade your hardware, overclock your current setup, or do both, and until you can up afford to upgrade, just overclock. Again, if you can. But if not, hey, work with what you got, because I had a GT 530, and I would only be able to play this game in 720p, lowest settings, with maybe a slight boost in the textures for Jermaine. It was a two gig card, two gig, two gig card. It was okay, but yeah. Man, this fog has been here for a minute. Wow. I'm gonna kill myself and try to find some more people. So, see how that goes. Yeah.